going nowhere, I can't get the pounding nah. Keep the metal talk, metal duck like I'm jousting I'm fresh out of work and the trap house bouncing The devil playing games on my soul for a thousand She don't even smoke, roll my blunts while I'm counting Then I had her down below like she drowning Truy jeans, double G, I rock designer stuff Here we go I don't care if you trap a scam Just make sure you give yourself a hand Shout out to you, you and all your friends Let's get it, man, let's get these bands Yeah, let's get these bands I don't care if you trap a scam I Battle TV, man I'm your host, King J. Moose, King Shit Productions We got a crazy battle for y'all Make some noise yeah. Co-host to my left uh, it's your boy Squint, Squint Tarantino, Black Shit, and I always say get away make soul power. Black Shit, we in the building. Make some motherfucking noise. Alright, fuck y'all. Coco Sonic, Spy MC, San Antonio, Texas. I run live by the league. Alright, battle, make some fucking noise for this battle. But it's not about us, it's about these battlers. Battle to my left, introduce yourself. Name's Athena, suck my dick. Ballot to my right. It's no James. Suck my dick. Okay, uh, no shame decided. She's gonna go first. It's on you right now. Hold it down. Hold it down. I know what you're thinking. What the fuck am I doing on stage with you? I don't know. But why the fuck does a lion play with its food? I guess this is something I wanted to do. You're gonna quickly see we are not the same. Probably around the time when I untuck my dick to piss on your strange. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you two dimes. I'm gonna step back my nickels chains. Today, I'm a little too ruthless. I'm gonna treat you like every dude you ever slept with. You're gonna wish you didn't do this. Yeah! You lips. You lips. You lips. shit. This crowd thinking right now that I'm all pissed because I'm not her. But y'all gonna leave real pissed cause I'm about to nod her on the fucking spotter. I need to know, do you drink, bitch? Cause if you do or don't, it doesn't matter, you will. Skipping the beer, going straight to the hard shit. You can think models and bottles. Today, I have crafted some hardships. A, a little bit too heartless. You know what I'm gonna start with is your style. It has to face rejection. How the fuck can you be real too real when you lack projection? I be telling y'all, the way she- That was fucking nice. The way she rhymed, I'm telling y'all, the way she rhymed fentanyl. Sure, a line may kill, but she'll never be real dope at all. You know it fall, propothal, killing a bitch, my protocol. So when Alex needed Athena to receive a god this from a god this, well, I guess he knew the protocol. Oh. See, y'all see, I be on a need to know basis. And right now, I need to know what the fuck is that hair about? <laughs> that shit got you looking like you're gonna spend your mid 60s working the overnight shift at a fucking Waffle House. Oh. Your career there, we can start it now. You ain't getting how, let me break it down. So you thought you was fluid in this shit. Till I started to grill and press. Now your interest is beginning to waffle now. Oh, Ooh, shit. You lips. Again. Is this yo bitch? Yeah. Cool. Tell everybody, state that fact. To tell you the truth, hell, no shame in that. Uh, <laughs> oh, like I'm trying to hit one of the dorkiest bitches on this fucking planet. She probably going around telling everybody I'm undefeated to cribbage. And every time before you lips hit it, you gotta run to the kitchen and devour a whole fucking can of spinach. Tell her, hold on a minute, I gotta go outside before we do this. You know what happens, I gotta beat up through this. Shit, screw this. Alex, you really wanted me to do this to a bitch with a fucking body of olive oil and the hair of fucking Brittany Murphy from Clueless. <laughs> this that was a perfect description. <laughs> With me, big blunder. See, she'll learn real quick that around here one pill put a bitch in a deep slumber. See, here they eat dairy. You know, it's what occurred the minute the beat uttered. Rocking this mic like no other. I'm too sick. It's just gotta make you so pissed that I've been a for five minutes. I've been a fucking chips. I got ass, hips, and these fucking tits, and you had to spend your whole fucking life walking around like this. <laughs> I hope you don't want to hear
your transphobia, because that won't be part of my plan. And if any of you want to hear that shit, then please, don't be my fan. Because when she cut her dick off, she did something we couldn't. But if I have to hear about it one more time, I'm going to have to see the footage. <laughs> And battle rap, you relapse and bring back your male voice. And well, isn't that convenient? <laughs> See, women in media, we're either stupid, evil, a crying wife, or more sex. And while you've spent your whole life trying to be a woman, I spent my whole life trying to forget. <laughs> Fuck being a female rapper, because no one cares how good we write. The only thing that seems to matter is what we look in life. But if you want to be treated like a lady, then we support you. Just don't get confused when we ignore it. When it comes to gender roles, we thought you knew it all. But now you play for the other team and get mad when no one passes you the ball. The main reason you changed? To be the best at sports. But no one wants to play with you when you dress in shorts. <laughs> I heard you paid an arm and a third leg. <laughs> oh my god! Yo! Bro! Yo! Bro! That one's fire! I heard you paid an arm and a third leg. Just to have your doctor take you down a peg. You had no oh my god! You had no one to teach you. The key to a woman's grace is don't complain. But pissing on the toilet seat? That's what it's like to live with no shame. <laughs> honestly fake, but she cut the tail between her legs and didn't actually change. I mean, it's crazy it's not a hate crime if you're killed in the state, but I killed my other opponents, so this is for equality's sake. <laughs> I'm a violent fan, silent till I go through the gut. So quit hiding, fam, because big hands, I know you're the one. All she wanted in life was a different bang for her buck. So I'll put her face under the knife and continue to slice because this woman's work is never done. Okay. You couldn't pray the gay away, but we know your mama tried. So you hate to modify your body like a bona fide AI. Men codified your program so that it's a bad design. Do the math, they cut her dick in half, but her toilet's now twice the size. <laughs> without your shame, you would have stayed living a lie. Your shame is part of your name, so this display, it's got to go. Why should I call this home no shame when her parents still call her Joe? <laughs> Some people think I came from Adam's rib. Even more people think for you to get married, you had a sin. But there are other, more traditional family values that I think we should fix, like whatever happened to beating your kids? <laughs> Now your kids have two mothers, so we wonder, will they ever think clear? Because without a father figure, who will teach them to shoot guns and drink beer? <laughs> See, God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Because without a woman and Eve, who could they blame for everything? <laughs> No shame still trying to find her place in life, but who is it you seek? You're a self-proclaimed LGBT, you're a self-proclaimed LGBT mouthpiece. You just define yourself to a T. But to me, you're more than that. You're the bravest, most courageous battle rapper I've ever seen. I mean, it has to be baffling, having to battle me. <laughs> you were so jealous of women, you wanted to destroy them. But you couldn't beat him, so you joined him. <laughs> now you're the first famous battle rapper and think it's fine you're a martyr. 
You even moved to Texas thinking no one suspects shit when you call your wife your partner. <laughs> <laughs> you chopped your wood thinking men are fools, but only a bad carpenter would blame his tool. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got a dick that sticks and gets pitched and that's honestly not your fault, dude. Like, bitch, I admit, if I had a dick, I would probably cut it off, too. <laughs> but your dick misses yeah. you. Said you sick of the phone. Said you were sick, hey, but you didn't pick up your phone. You hung him up to dry, and he cried. But now he's trying to come home. I guess men are right. These dicks really do have a mind of their own. <laughs> but when it comes to pussy pride, I cannot be modest. Mine smells like a rose and yours is a doctor's office. <laughs> <laughs> Some people hate you, and I think I know what caused it. Homophobes mad because you left them alone in the closet. I think it's sad when after a bad bar, your opponent sits back and then everyone laughs at you. But after you spam randoms with it, you overpromote it till you're ending up tagging Snoop. If I was you, after the battle, I'd follow their ass to the bathroom. If they still can't seem to grasp what you've been through, then cut off their dick so now they have to. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bad news. Okay. In the first ship, we see a man seated. Please note the aerodynamic form. Jets are clearly seen. The spectators are protecting their faces with their hands. They are obviously terrified. Terrified.